My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. Amid the intricate mountains and canyons of northern Utah lies a snake literally like no other. And if you get lucky enough to see it, you'll be in absolute confusion about what you just saw. A long, scaly, sausage-looking creature slowly moving through the forest, known as the northern rubber boa. These snakes aren't seen too often not because they're rare, but because of their underground lifestyle that we humans can't visually access. So for me, seeing one on the surface of the ground is an unforgettable experience. Look at that! Come here, little buddy! <laughs> Look at this! Oh, oh my god! god. That's actually kind of a small one. Oh, my heart is racing right now. <laughs> this right here is the rubber boa. Can you believe this? They're so much fun to handle, and they're super, super chill. I mean, you can see this guy's not trying to bite. He's not musking on me. That's the great thing about finding one of these in the wild. If you live in the western US, you've actually got a chance at seeing one of these. They can be found all around the states of Montana, Idaho, Utah, California, Oregon, and Washington. I think also, I believe Nevada and they even go all the way up into Canada so these guys are actually they take up a large distribution uh, of the US they're they're all over the place and yet at the same time they're fairly secretive snakes a little bumblebee right here eat no I'm just kidding of course this snake gets its name not just because it looks like rubber but also because it feels like rubber as well the really interesting features about the snake is its tail now if you look at it it actually looks a little bit like a head I mean, it's a very blunt tail. And you're thinking, well, is this snake, did it get hurt in the past and it eventually healed up to a blunt little end? Actually, no. Every single rubber boa you will find will have that blunt head just like its head. Uh, and that is for many reasons. They use this tail for multiple reasons. They use it as a defense and most, there's almost no other species of snake in the world that actually uses their tail as a false head. That's right. It looks so much like its head that they'll stick it up in the air, kind of point that out and bury their head as they curl up into a little ball, and their tail is left to be struck at first by the predator. Another interesting thing about this snake is the fact that it actually has vertical pupils, kind of like a rattlesnake. And lots of people around the US say if it has those vertical pupils, kind of like a cat, it means it's venomous. That's not actually true. It actually means it's nocturnal, and this snake is no exception. Uh, it's pretty hard to see those eyes because they're super duper tiny no matter how big the rubber boa you find. But it's pretty cool because it's non-venomous, completely harmless snake, and yet it has those vertical pupils. These snakes can have a very long lifespan, more so than most other snake species uh, in the entire world. They can live up to about 50 years. How crazy is that? Uh, I've also heard that they can also live up to 80 years, but I don't know if that's true. Um, but they can live up to about 50. So to think, this is a full, almost a full-grown adult. This is pro this snake is probably older than me. How cool is that? So it's an incredibly unique snake, and it is one of the most primitive. And I say primitive because it is very unevolved. You see, snakes actually evolved from lizards, believe it or not. Almost every single species of snake you will come across is very evolved into a snake from a lizard in the sense that it has no legs, you know? But this snake actually is not as evolved from lizards as you would think. And to prove that it's still kind of lizard-like is the fact that it actually still has these two little legs or spurs near its butt. You'll see these two little dots and they're these little, they're called vestigial spurs. And they don't grow very big, but those are actually remnants of back legs. They're called vestigial because, well, you can't use them as legs now, they're too small. But what they're used for now is actually to tickle the females into breeding. And those spurs are how you can tell a male from a female in most boa species. Uh, usually the females have much larger or absent spurs, um, and the males have much bigger ones, and this one definitely has quite a long tail as well. So this is definitely uh, a cute little male here, and it's just, it's just amazing. It is a rubber boa, as I said earlier. So, is it like a boa constrictor? It is in the boa family. Um, so, think about it. This guy is in the same family as the famous boa constrictor. It's also in the same family as the anaconda. But do they get as big as the anaconda or a boa constrictor? Not even close. In fact, this is actually the smallest boa species in the world. And there's a lot of boa species out there. This is one of only four species of boa that you can find in the US. 
And that's amazing because there are almost 200 species of snake you can find in the US, and only four of them are boas. And this is one of them. That's how awesome it is. And it's the only boa species in Utah as well. So this snake primarily eats baby mice. Um, it's not really big enough to eat adult mice, so the adult mice uh, is something that this snake does have to be afraid of. Not necessarily because it will get eaten by those adult mice, but because those adult mice care for what this guy likes to eat. And so, with this tail, they'll actually use this to beat up the adult mice in case it's there with all the babies. And these guys actually uh, can withstand incredible temperatures as low as 50 degrees Fahrenheit, sometimes even lower. Doesn't mean they necessarily like it at that temperature, um, so they're very, very hardy snakes. So that is everything you need to know about the amazing rubber boa snake. Um, thank you so much for watching and taking the time to educate yourself on this incredible species. And I'll see you in the next one with possibly an even cooler snake. Encountering a northern rubber boa never fails to put a smile on my face because they're so docile and fun to handle. If you're ever interested in overcoming your fear of snakes, there's no better species to help you conquer your fear. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn more about this species, click the link down below where you'll find an extended version of this episode on Facebook. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.